Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This video is gonna be my makeup use up number update number three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know this uh, update is very very uh, late. Uh, normally I do these updates like every three months, and I know it's now the mid of October. So <clears throat> yeah, should have done it in the end of September, but th that's that's that. Um, if you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Daniela. I do a little bit of a mix of everything. Uh, I have a lot of videos on, from different concerts I've been to, uh, when I've been traveling a little bit, and I do empties videos every month. And then now this year I have done a um, nail polish project for 2018, and this project that I'm doing right now, the makeup use up. So. Perhaps this is a little bit strange angle. I'm sitting on the floor because I have so many things that I couldn't fit on my table. And uh, yeah, so this is the only way so you can see me with all the things and not seeing me bending over to pick up things from the floor. So that's why I am sitting on the floor and you are on a tripod on the floor and hopefully the, this angle is good. Uh, we will see. Now you see a little bit different view of my room and perhaps you see my Bastille poster. I'm going to see them in uh, February. Yeah, February. I'm like, when I'm going to see them? Yeah, February. So yeah, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about my, em well, my project and all the empties I've done and the items that I'm using right now. So if you don't know what a makeup use up uh, project is, is that uh, in January I picked out some items that I wanted to get rid of. Well, I didn't want to throw them, but I want to use them up for this year. Um, I picked out a lot of things <laughs> and uh, some items I have actually taken away from my list, like tissue papers. I always use t tissue papers and I always use my asthma inhalers. So I've taken that off of the list and actually I've taken away uh, hand sanitizer and uh, hand cream because I have that in my project polish so I thought it was a little bit excessive to have it in both uh, projects so yeah uh, the items that I have used up and the items that I had on my list well first off the thing you need when you're cleaning off your face it's makeup wipes uh, I started the year with this Nivea uh, I bought this in Spain last year and it was 40 uh, wipes in it. It smells good. I f if I'm not mistaken, it was a lot of products, so it left a, a lot on the face. Um, but it was good, and I don't recall it being that expensive. Then I have used up two packages of Simple. Um, yeah, they are good. The first packages I, that I bought was when I was in, in Ireland. And then I actually found them here in Sweden. I had been searching for them high and low, but I didn't find them. And I actually found them in a, what can you call it, outdoor adventure shop. So I was like, okay. I thought I was going to find them in like H&M or some of the beauty, beauty stores that we have. But no, I found them in an outdoor store. Uh, the next thing that I used up actually this summer with the help of my uh, kids at work is this. This is actually uh, wipes for babies. They are 72 wipes. So yeah, mostly I we use this for like the around the face and the hands. Uh, the thing that I'm using right now because I've used up all of them is this one. It's Balea Softe Reinigungstücher um, Jede Hauttyp. So this is limited edition for this, well it's it's called Cool Camel, uh, this line, and it's from Balea, from Deutsche Mark. I bought this when I was in uh, Germany in April, when I was visiting my cousin because he was getting married. Together with that, I am actually also trying to use up all my like small samples. Uh, I have used up two of these. One in the same side and then one is smaller. So I still have one left. Um, when I was in Spain this summer, I bought this one. This is Tony Moly Taco Cleansing Stick. Um, 
they have a whole collection with these kinds of what do you call them? Octopies? This yeah, shape. And it looks like this. It's black. So you have it on damp skin and you like rub it in, and then you can clean it. Uh, I have already started using it. Perhaps you can see it. Um, and I think it's really good so far. Um, when I'm done with the wipes, which is quite soon I think because it was only wait, 25 in these? Yeah, 25 in these and I think I have like 3 or 4 left, something like that. So then I'm going to continue with this. Uh, in the beginning of the year I was eating iron tablets and normally I eat a lot of iron tablets but actually the last time I went to donate plasma and blood was in January so I haven't done that in a while so it's three packages that I have used up and nothing else something that I'm still uh, working on is actually this uh, tart tartiest lip paint in let's see birthday suit that I got uh, as a gift from uh, Sephora last year for my birthday still using it I haven't done any huge progress on this unfortunately something that I did do a progress on was this this is a lip gloss from a uh, Primark it was well this is the under part of a uh, unicorn and I have done my markings here along the line when I have used it so it's gone and to replace that one I actually went into my collection of lipsticks, lip glosses and lip balms and everything and I found this this is from Sephora this is gloss ultra bright ultra shine lip gloss I'm, I started to read in French but okay the French words, but in English is ultra shine lip gloss. Sorry, um, this one is super super old. It's actually around eight years old, and yeah, the thing is, when I was living in Barcelona in 2010, I these were for like one euro each, so I bought I think four or five of these. One I actually gave to my friend for her birthday, and then. The rest I have been using, but this is the last one I have in my collection, and I was like, God, this is probably one of the oldest. Not the oldest, because I think I have a lipstick that is older, but one of the oldest things I do have in my collection, and I should use it up. So I took out the wand, and I actually took out the stopper, and I squeezed everything down, and when I got out all the air and everything, it's actually down to here. So right over where the Sephora lettering is. So it's about halfway. So I will see how much I can use until yeah the year is uh, over. But I really like this. I actually have this under the lipstick I have right on, uh, on me right now. But yeah, we will see. Something I decided to throw out because it smells rank and I couldn't uh, get anything out. More of this tube was this Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in chocolate. Uh, I don't know how many times I have taken out the wand, taken out the stopper and trying to like squeeze everything down. Oh god, yeah, this smells really bad. Um, the last line I did, let's see, I think it's that one. So I did actually mark this, but yeah, it's gone. Uh, to replace that one, I actually uh, started using this. This, this. this is the Maybelline. Oh, what's it called now? Because I've already sharpened it down. Something. It's a brow pencil. It says something else. Said something else here, but okay, I can't read it because I've already sharpened down. This is in deep brown, and well, I hopefully will use it up real soon because I have used this and actually one of my eyeshadows I have used it for my eyebrows but I like this and yeah but I'm gonna use this first and then the eyeshadow um let's see I started the year oops 
I started the year with um, a lot of, um, well, samples, I should say. Samples for the face, a lot of creams. And if I'm not mistaken, I started it with this Origins, the Perfect World Antioxidant Moisturizing with white tea. This was 50 milliliters and it took me forever. Uh, but yeah, it's all gone. Thank you. I didn't like it that much. Uh, the things I also had samples was this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I actually found this. Um, didn't find it here in Sweden because we don't have Neutrogena if it's not like spot treatment or something else. And we here in Sweden I can't find it. So when I was in Germany I found this and I bought it, and it's so so good. But I haven't. Like, I'm trying to use the other cream first. But two of the Neutrogena. I have one Clinique Turnaround Concentrate Visible Skin Renewer. It was 1.25 milliliters. I have one Biotherm Aquasaurus. I have one Biotherm Blue Therapy Cream in Oil. I have two Biotherm Blue Therapy Red Algae Uplift. Looks like this. Uh, I have one L'Occitane uh, Light Comforting Cream, 1.5 milliliters. I have one L'Occitane uh, Hydra, Hydra Vita Gel, 1.5 milliliters. I have one <laughs> uh, L'Occitane Hydra Vital Cream, also 1.5 milliliters, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 1.5. And I had one uh, Philorga. NCTF Intensive Supreme Regenerating Serum. Looks like this. And then when I was done with all the samples, I started with this one. This is Lumine Ultra Sensitive Moisturizing and Calming Day Cream. Uh, 50 milliliters, and I have been using it and using it, but it's very thick, so I don't need that much. But I have been using it. It's Let's see if I can see it from here. When I started... It was 59 grams, because this is 50 milliliters. And now, last time when I did weigh it, it was like 53. So, 6 grams in... Oh, I can't see it now, but I think it was 24th of... Or 21st of March I started using this. Because I did make a marking here, and the date I started But it's fainted away. 21st of March, I think. So, since March until now... 6 grams. Oops. It's gonna take me forever. Um, let's see. That was the... Okay. Uh, next thing on the list that still has been on the list from the beginning is this uh, Benefit Dew de Hula. This is 5 milliliters or 1.16 fluid ounces. I don't know how much is in here, but the thing what I have done is I mixed this together with this to be a little bit more brown, especially in the summer, uh, in the spring before the summer came. So that's how I've been using it, and also now in the autumn, when my summer color is starting to fade, I have been using this. Uh, next up is my e.l.f. What's the name of this e.l.f.? Eyeshadow primer? Yeah, eyeshadow primer in sheer. This is how it looks like. I have been doing markings. The thing is, it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, but I'm star. Yeah. I have I only have the smallest um, part of the bo um, container still left, so hopefully I can use this up. Because to be honest, I can't even see now where it is. I have to have a light to see and also take out the the applicator to be really sure where all the items is. But this one I started uh, in the beginning of the year and still working at. Another e.l.f. item that I'm still working at uh, with is this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It's in black. I have been working and working and working my way in the middle. I don't know if you can see this. It's so dark. Uh, in the middle. Um, still haven't hit pan on this. So we will see. It doesn't smell bad. So, And I have actually one more of these in purple, I think. Um, let's see, yeah, uh, something that I bought, I think it was in December or in January, was actually this e.l.f. 
lip scrub. It's called Clean Canvas. Uh, it was completely full. I have been using it. Uh, there is a dip on the sides. I don't know if you can see. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can use it more now when it's uh, starting to get autumn and winter and my lips get more chalky and dry. Let's see. Uh, I have a list on my computer, that's why I'm turning this way. Uh, mm, yeah. I started here with another e.l.f. Uh, product. This is the e.l.f. Jumbo Lipstick. Um, it's completely like uh, there is nothing more here. This is in Sangria Starters. Uh, all the name on it rubbed off. And to replace this, I started using this. This is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. It's a very dark color, so I think it's going to fit more now in the autumn than before. Um, then we have... I have used up a lot of these, so I think I started the year with actually this. This is the uh, lip balm with shea butter with passion fruit from H&M. It's very big. It's uh, 15 grams or no, uh, 0 0.53 ounces. Um, yeah, it's gone. This was the this was the last one of my big ones. So this was was the last of my big ones. I have used up this US in green. I have bought one more when I was in the US now that is in purple. Um, I have also used up this Jolly Rancher in cherry. Completely. I think, yeah. Like that. And the one I have continued with is this one. It's, uh, well, from when I'm going to get blood to give out free. Looks like this and it's up to I think it up to the D I think on this. It was up to the B when I started so I have progress. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is cracking up. Um I have used one sample of uh, Clinique Even Better Glow. Um uh, this was in what color? Oh, 52 neutral was not for my face. It's not good. Um, I have used up this Madeira's uh, powder in Arabesco color. Looks like this. All completely gone. Got it in a news in a magazine when it was in Spain. Uh, I still have some samples. Uh, two from Clinique in silk ivory in in Meringue. Meringue. Wrong, meringue, meringue, I think it's called, and then I have uh, Estee Lauder in shell beige. I think these will be more suitable in the winter when I'm paler. I am also using this Rimmel Fresher Skin in uh, 303 True Nude, looks like this. I have used this. Oh, looks like this. I can't. I uh, can't turn on it, I can't, because then it's going to be running all over the place. Um, I have, ooh, I have used two of the Nivea Invisible for black and white and one Nivea Energy Fresh and I am now using the Invisible for black and white again, so my fourth deodorant. I normally use like five or six each year. Uh, one other e.l.f. item, I have a lot of e.l.f. items, is this uh, makeup mist and set. It was, uh, I didn't care for it. Uh, the next one that I replaced it with is this MAC uh, Prep and Pry Fix Plus normal one. This is a hundred milliliters. Um, I am throwing away this uh, mascara from L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture and actually I'm replacing it with its sister or brother what you won't call it because I bought a two-pack on the flight so that's why this is still going. Um, let's see 
Is this all? Yeah. Uh, for when it comes to under my eyes, I used up this um, sample of Shiseido Ginza Tokyo. Uh, Benefiance Wrinkle Assist 24. 1.5 milliliters. I have used up this e.l.f. again e.l.f. hydrating under eye primer. It's a pump like this and yeah it's all gone. I have used up two of the Tony Moly uh, Panda Stream So Cool Eye Stick and I'm not going to re repurchase because yeah um, I think it's a waste of product because there is still a lot here in the base when you are so called done and I'm not going to stand and dig with my nails to get it out. Uh, I am continuing with the hydrating, the e.l.f. hydrating under eye primer again. So this is my second, second bottle or yeah, what do you call it? Package. It's not a bottle. Uh, something that I haven't been using and I'm like, why did I put it on my list? Uh, is this NYX Vivid Brights, let's see, in Vivid Envy, looks like this. It's a liquid eyeliner and it's in, I thought it was going to be more green. This is more moss green because I thought it was going to be this color. But it's, let's see if you can see that, this like mossy green, which I don't like, but okay. I don't know if you can see that. The next thing on my eye, on my list uh, is Benefit the Poor Professional. And I made a big mistake of buying the big one. It's 44 milliliters because this is a never ending story. Oh, see, did I? Mm, yeah, it was 40, 47 grams when I started using it. Now it's 45. So, yeah. Something that took me forever, I bought this bottle in 2008, was this um, Silica Ray Silica Gel for the hair with the uh, UV filters. So I bought it in 2008 and I used it up now in, yeah, August? Wait. Yeah, August. Because in August I started using this. This is the Garnier Fructis uh, Hydra Rizos. So also a thing I bought in Mexico and when I started in August it was here and I only used it like two or three times and in September that's my progress for September and now it's October and yeah I don't know where I am I think I'm further down than September ever went let's see I think I'm like here somewhere and it's only the mid uh, month so hopefully I can use this and use it up before the end of the year. So, yay! Um, what was after this? Yeah, something that I have been using for like the whole year is this Illumine Extra Gentle Toner. Looks like this is 200 milliliters, and you can see my markings on the side. I always forget to use this, but when I do use it, in a, in a month I do use it really good like you can see this is in a month and that too and here it's like oh I used it twice so yeah I will try to use it up something that was just a one time item was this Dior let's see Dior Shore Ma Maximizer 3D Base Mascara or Lash Primer looks like this I got it in I got it when I was living in Spain last year for work uh, as a, because I bought so much at Sephora and oh yeah this is what happens several of the times when you pull out the wand the bristles are still inside here not the first time let's see if it comes out no now it's really stuck in here before I could like push this back and get the wand out with the bristles and everything no. Oh, almost, almost. Oh. Who cares? It's gone. Uh, next item on my list is actually body lotions. So I started 
the year with this one. This is the Hello Kitty Body Lotion Tropical Berry. Uh, 250 milliliters or 8.4 fluid ounces. This I actually got at the same time as oh, this one. So this was from, also from 2010. I got this as a uh, birthday gift uh, from the girls that I was living with. And I actually already started with this one in December, so I used it up uh, in February, so in the end of February. And when I was done with that one, I started using this green and clean spa super vitalizing hand and body souffle. Looks like this. And yeah, the packages is like this. This was 200 milliliters, so the first one it was 250 and this was 200. Then I used some samples. I had four of the Nivea Rose Aceite de Argan, so Rose and um, Argan Oil. And so yeah, this was four milliliter each. I also used up this uh, Veleda Pomegranate Renegating Body Oil. God, long name. Two milliliters. I also used this. Sasha Marine Spa Algae Deep Moisturizing Cream Looks like this I assume it was for the body and not for the, the face So yeah And then I also used up this uh, uh, The Body Shop Shea Whip uh, Body Lotion 60ml Bottle like this This was really really old And I don't know how many Times I've tried to use up the thing is I don't like no I don't like really the smell of shea butter it smells funky but okay that's gone uh, after that the one I started with was this this is from One Direction our moment it's a body lotion 150 milliliters uh, when I started let's see it was a hundred and does it say fifty one I think it was 151 grams. Uh, last time now when I um, weighed it, it was 99. But I have been using it even more because it was not this little. So hopefully when this is soon gone, I will continue because I do have a lot of uh, body lotions. And I mean it, a lot. I don't need any more. Um, let's see. Oh, now comes the biggest part of uh, this and uh, it's my perfumes um, I use a lot of perfumes Shh. I do actually I do use a lot of perfumes um, and right now my stash of perfumes doesn't look that big anymore so I will start with the first one uh, that I started in January with, it was this Versace uh, woman yeah it was a hundred milliliters, looks like this. I don't know where I bought. Did I buy? I think I bought this on the flight from Spain home, like two years ago. So yeah. Then it's my almost my entire collection of uh, Uzi Couture uh, perfumes. I have Couture Lala. This is oh, forty milliliters. I bought this in Dublin. Then we have... Mm, is this Couture Couture? Because it doesn't have a name on this. This is 30 milliliters. That I can tell you. We have Viva La Yusi, 30 milliliters. Looks like this. We have Viva La Yusi Rose. Looks like this. And it's 30 milliliters. We have Yuzi Couture, well it doesn't say, 50 milliliters. Then we have actually Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Girl, uh, 100 milliliters. And the last one is this Peace, Love and Yuzi Couture, look at this. And it's, uh, did I say it's 50 milliliters? And I actually do have one more, but it's actually in the empties for this month, so I'm not going to tell you which it is. 
but I am now continuing with Calvin Klein uh, CK1. This is 50 milliliters. And also at the same time, you see, uh, I like my perfumes. I have used a um, sample, well, this kind of thing, uh, from Lancome, La Vie est Belle, L'Eclat. I have um, Prada, Le Homme et Le Femme. Looks like this, from a newspaper. I have Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, also from a newspaper, looks like this. I have a sample of Gucci Bloom, 1.5 milliliters, looks like this, and you have the sample in here. And I have samples from Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and Chanel Number no. 5, also, so I have those two. That was all the perfumes, oh my god. Okay, the last item on my list. I'm sorry that my voice has been very low because I have been ill. I'm still a bit ill. I'm trying not to uh, lose my voice because I work as a teacher and I need to talk to my kids. But the last item now uh, is this well small pack, uh, palette from MAC where I have some eyeshadows. I have actually taken out uh, three of the eyeshadows if you have seen my videos before. I've taken out three of the eyeshadows from um, Oh, from where? From Mary Kay. Yeah, from my Mary Kay uh, palette. So in here right now I have this one. That's from... It's Brûlé from... Wait. Uh, Wet n Wild. Yeah. This is Brûlé from Wet n Wild. Uh, or Crème Brûlé. I have two colors from W7. Here. One purple and one reddish, um, like reddish brown. Um, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, shades from my H&M palette called Autumn of No Colors of Autumn. Shades of No Shades of Fall. Sorry, Shades of Fall. Um, it's a palette with twelve. Originally, so the other half are pink colors, but these are brown and yeah, brown and purpley colors. And as you can see, I've hit pan on three of those. And actually, this one, the darkest one, is the one that I'm using to my uh, eyebrows when I don't use my pen. So yeah, but also this eyeshadows has been with me since. 2005 so hopefully I can use them up and use others but I really like this because it's the brown like the, I, the shadows I normally use but yeah I have now three pans in the white and then in the two darker browns so hopefully I can use up those and rotate I am using other eyeshadows at the same time but I'm trying to use up these in spe like specifically using them. So yeah, that was everything. I am now going to go and have some tea, I think, or something to relieve my throat because it hurts. I hope you heard everything I, I said. I'm going to list everything that I've uh, used and used up in the description bar. And hopefully next time I will not be ill and I can talk loudly to you so yeah this was everything uh, i hope you have a nice day and i see you in my next video bye